With harvest here, we're reminded of some pretty important laws regarding seed wheat. It's all part of the Federal Plant Variety Protection Act, commonly called PVP. To help us sort it out, here's SUNUP's Austin Moore. Wheat is evolving. If you look back over the modern breeding era, which is about 80 to, to 90 years in the United States, over that time span, uh, the obvious changes that have occurred in wheat uh, to a wheat farmer would be the height. This height is about a foot shorter than what it would have been a hundred years ago. But more importantly, it is the yield potential that is bred into these varieties. Given good conditions, we have essentially breeders over that 90 year period have tripled the yield potential. And I think there's room for more growth there. For each variety, however, there is a lengthy and costly investment of time. A variety will take 10 to 12 years in OSU's wheat breeding program before it is ready for release. From there, foundation seed takes over, multiplying the seed before transferring it to Oklahoma Genetics Inc. to begin the seed distribution process. With an organization like Oklahoma Genetics Inc., which is a private nonprofit, uh, every penny of the money that's, that doesn't go to marketing goes back to the university and the breeding program for development of new varieties. The process for, for producing certified seed, there's a fairly strict uh, set of regulations that you have to follow. We have the breeder seed, then foundation, then registered, which will be planted, and then certified seed will be harvested from that the following year. Those fields are inspected. They must adhere to strict requirements regarding the prior crop, the field either had to be planted in that same variety the prior year or planted to a different crop to ensure we don't have contamination from a different variety. So to protect this investment in both publicly and privately bred seed, the Plant Variety Protection Act was created. Well, the Plant Variety Protection Act, or PVP as it's often called, is a federal statute that was designed to provide some protection to seed variety developers that would give them the right to recoup some of their development costs by giving them a limited ability to restrict the sales of their seed. It's a much shorter, much simpler process to get a PVP certificate than it would be to get a patent. And as a result of that being a shorter and less expensive process, that means that we can get varieties out to growers faster and less expensively than if the developers had to go through the patent process. Yet in a year like this, with so little seed being produced, it is tempting to try to work around PVP. Whenever you've got a tough crop year, the following planting season, it always seems like it's much more difficult to find the quality seed wheat that you need. And sometimes people are pulling it from unusual sources. Um, you have seed cleaners that are kind of pulling from a variety of providers. And you need to be really careful about that because under the act, if you know or have reason to know that you're purchasing a PVP protected variety from someone who's not authorized to sell it, that makes you liable as well. And seed companies are getting very aggressive about enforcing these issues. So how do you know if the seed you're buying is protected by the Plant Variety Protection Act? Well, it's right here. Every container of protected seed must be clearly labeled with the type of protection. If in doubt, consult the OSU Wheat Variety Comparison Chart linked off our website. One common misconception is that protected seed must be bought new each year. If you've purchased that, obviously you can use it to plant your crop that year. But the PVP also has an exception that says you can retain enough seed out of that crop to plant the equivalent amount of acreage the next crop year. So in other words, you wouldn't have to go back to the dealer and buy seed again for your next crop. You could retain enough and only enough just to plant back the same acreage in the next season. However, that may not be the most profitable decision. Farmer saved seed is not free. There's a value in the market of that seed, so whatever the market price is, you're going to have shrinkage, you're going to have storage cost with that seed. Normally we're looking at five or six dollars per acre to plant certified as opposed to farmer saved. And for most farmers, it's a good bet. Most of the time, planting certified seed will make you back that bushel per acre two or three times over it, at least. In some cases, much more than that. If you'd like to learn more about the Plant Variety Protection Act, visit our website, sunup.okstate.eu.